Hey guys, what's good? Mike here, Laker Talk. Let's talk Laker basketball. Looks like a lot of stuff is happening. I'm about to start posting more videos on a frequent basis. Uh, a lot of stuff happened yesterday. Kawhi Leonard news breaks that he wants out of San Antonio and that the Lakers is preferably his destination of choice, right? Via trade. Now, everybody goes crazy on Twitter. It's fun to talk about these things, but we all know it's a long shot. Um, but this brings up some questions on who we would trade and would we entertain the trades. And we have a lot of young guys who we would give up Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Kuzma, whoever we have, right? Um, let's talk about it. So so it is a long shot, but and and obviously the Spurs, you don't know if the Spurs will want to help the Lakers out and and want to trade, but Lakers do have some assets. We got Lonzo, we got Brandon Ingram, <clears throat> Kyle Kuzma, and so forth. These are young guys who are going to grow into really good, you know, all-star players. And the Spurs might entertain one of those guys. Um, so at first, my my quite my 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 thing is this: is I would try to hold on to Lonzo, and I would put everybody else on the block because I would love Lonzo running uh, the point um, with a Kawhi Leonard, and then we can go after like a Paul George, right? That would be my first sort of go round. Like uh, Kawhi Leonard. I would I would give up Brandon Ingram. I, it would hurt me to do that, but I would have to give up Brandon, Brandon Ingram. I would even give up Kuzma, uh, and then we would obtain two small forwards in Kawhi Leonard via trade, and then obviously Paul George was signed at that point. Um, and then that would give us a good, solid two all-star, two top-of-the-line all-stars, one of the best uh, players in the NBA in Kawhi Leonard, like a top three or four, whatever he is, um, and, and so forth. <clears throat> that would hurt me. But now people are talking about LeBron James in the picture. If Kawhi Leonard comes, he wants in hypothetically, and it would only make sense because now you're looking at a big three, Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, and Paul George. Now, that sounds sick. And as much as I love Lonzo and anybody else, I'm, if that was even a possibility, and I know that's a long shot from even happening, but let's just have fun and talk about it. I'm sorry, Lonzo, LeVar Ball, Triple B. I'll still watch you from afar. I'll, I'll root for you, but I would have to give Lonzo up. I would have to give Brandon Ingram up, Kuzma up, anybody. The Lakers pet dog, I don't care, to land a Kawhi Leonard, LeBron, and a Paul George. You're looking at a big three for the next three years. LeBron at his at his elite level. I mean, he's got 15 years in. Paul George and Kawhi is going to be riding for the next six years or so. But LeBron is still going to play at a high level for the next three, four, or five years. And so you're looking at a possible big three that can push the San Antonio Spurs. I mean, push the Golden State Warriors to the limit. That, that would definitely get us to the conference finals next year and we would try to figure out who we would play around those guys but I would enjoy that I would I would hate to see my young guys go but I would entertain you know anything right just anything we got to do to get those guys in again it's a long shot I don't think that would happen but who knows you know anything is possible but I think realistically what could happen I think realistically realistically is this the Spurs may not try to help the Lakers out. But the fact is, if they're going to trade Kawhi Leonard, they're not going to dog him and trade him to the Celtics, some team that he probably doesn't want to be, be in. I hear that the Celtics are trying to get in on that. So I don't know if they would dog him out that much. That would be crazy. So they might you know, grant his wish and try to entertain a trade with the Lakers, but I don't think that might. That's a long shot. Um, but I obviously, you know, Paul George signing as a free agent and then, you know, keeping our guys intact, Lonzo, Brandon Ingram, Kuzma and so forth and trying to maybe re-signing uh, Julius Randle. But if LeBron James is really trying to get out of Cleveland, he's trying to come around, you know, all bets are on the table. At this point, as Laker fans, and I, 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 I shot a quick video on Instagram we got to relax on being so loyal to our young guys. I, I'm i like you. I I like our guys, you know. But if I can get an all-star, like big, not just all-star, superstars on the team, 
I'm willing to ride with the, ride with those guys for the next three three years, three four years, and I would it would take me probably a month and probably three weeks to get over my the guys that we lost to be honest with you. And so that's just my 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 um my, my thought process. And we got to chill on. I mean, we were holding on. Yeah, I got, yeah, everybody was holding on to D'Angelo Russell. I mean, did you forget about D'Angelo Russell? I did. Um, we were holding on to to you know a lot of our young cats. And uh, they get traded and they go on. They have a good life. They make millions of dollars and they play well for other teams. But we got to start looking at how we can improve our team. But realistically, Kawhi Leonard trade for one of our young guys bringing Paul George could happen. Um, I'm not even thinking about LeBron James, but a Kawhi Leonard trade and then bringing Paul George could happen. And in that scenario, I wouldn't want to give up Lonzo. That's just my opinion. I would part ways with Brandon Ingram, love Brandon Ingram, I love everything about him, but we're bringing in two guys that are similar to him and better than him, and so I would have to, um, it would hurt, but that's what I would do. Anyway, that's my thoughts. As always, hit me up in the comments below, let me know your thoughts, thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and yeah, by the way, check out my new sponsor, link in the description if you're looking for a an expert strength and conditioning program if you play basketball for your kids for your daughter anyone at any level in basketball check out the link below first shock is an excellent program that helps a lot of people out and really will improve your game so check out the link in the description as always follow me on twitter and instagram at mike sports LA, and i'll highlight you guys peace